great you've made it to join um, join is my version of connecting to the target sites emotions um, I don't do it that often and only when I know that there's something to connect to like a person um, join has some cautions around it um, because you are connecting to other people I have heard that you can absorb and or think like those people or the target so you should be careful about connecting to dodgy people and I can understand that that makes sense um, join in my early days didn't didn't really happen it happened by accident um, I was targeting a, a boy who was jumping in water and as I was going through the session um, I got an overwhelming sensation of happiness and joy um, and when it did happen I it was a little overwhelming because it was the first time that actually happened to me uh, I didn't know what was going so I had took some time to sort of analyze what I was feeling and understand the impression that I was that was there basically and it was joy and happiness um, and it was it was awesome um, basically I had accident accidentally connected to this person and I was feeling all these emotions so I think I after that experience I researched up about emotions and what I did come across was how to disconnect from your targets and this was born by the fact that some people uh, connect to targets but can't disconnect so I have seen stories and commentary on, on the fact that um, some of our mentors uh, in the community have had experiences where people have connected to targets and they've had problems trying to disconnect from them um, and it has led to some really bad situations like if you can't disconnect this from someone you're eternally entwined almost until you try and find a way to disconnect how can you you know if you can put yourself in these people's shoes you've You've got other people's emotions that are confusing with yours or impressions and thoughts even. You th you, you've got their thoughts invading your thoughts. Now, I, I, I haven't experienced this, but not the thought side, but the emotion side I have. Now, I've come up, I believe I've come up with a strategy to help me deal with this. I don't know if it's a strategy that you should do, but this is this is my thinking about around it and my and some of my belief around it as well and I'm going to illustrate it um, try and illustrate it for you as well so join is uh, connecting to the person's emotions and thoughts well at least for me it's emotions I haven't connected to thoughts yet I don't think I'm that advanced enough to do that but it'll come one day who knows now the best way to illustrate what I do to protect myself in regards to these um, to these emotions or impressions. So what I'm going to show you first is this guy. So this guy is your normal Joe Blogs on the street. He's full of emotions. He's full of uh, promise. He's full of aspirations. He's full of thoughts he's full of everything he's full of yeah you, yeah he's full of that too he is your typical guy all right now what i do to sort of help define thyself or myself or know myself is the cool down so the one benefit i see of the cool down being is that you can reduce yourself all your emotions all your thoughts down to a dot a single point a concept 
where everything is minimized your thoughts your errant thoughts your emotions your frustrations your everything and that's what meditation does it helps you get not get rid of it helps you de-escalate your body and mind to a point where uh, to a single point where you feel relaxed and at peace well, no not at peace you feel centered really for me it's centered it feels like everything about me is contained in this little package that I've meditated myself into while taking my meditative state into is to create myself as this little ball and then I'm ready to do RVs so if I'm this guy and this guy comes along he's angry or whatever or he can be anything right he comes along and he comes along and he then takes over your uh, his impressions swamp your emotions and feelings and you need a way to be able to release yourself from those thoughts and feelings it should be okay because when you decide that you've finished with his impressions and stuff he goes away you're still the dot so he goes away boom you come back to that end of that session knowing you started here and you ended there now lynn talks about um going backwards in your sessions now i've done that and it works it really does it's sort of like you're pressing rewind on everything um is this impression me no it's him cool put it aside all right is there anything else no uh is, yes i'm having these other thoughts cool go back through the session the, these are the feelings you felt yep so this is you that's his feelings say goodbye to the feeling cool bye bye and so when you reverse out of your sessions you end up back to this guy so having a really good start and reference point is i think a very good idea before you start entering down those that emotional sense path because if you are like this and this other guy comes on top how the hell are you going to know what's you and what's him right you have to have a differential you have to understand that you started out the session as this guy you may have ended up as this guy accidentally but when you reverse that session you start with this guy you can reverse out of those sensations all right so let's do this good cool down practice to get centered to the sky so any other person that comes along by the time you finish the session you know you're this guy you are back to normal have a good cool down all right so that's the join um if i know that there is a person and i know it's a safe target i will attempt to join um, i've done a few joins actually i've done a few joins uh, a couple of accidental joins you know you, you don't intend to do it but sometimes you connect you don't get a say sometimes as to what you connect with so as far as preparation for those accidents have a good cool down be able to calm yourself down to a point where you know thyself really well and when somebody comes along bah, 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 oh yeah and you start getting overwhelmed by this guy but by the time he leaves hopefully he hasn't left anything behind and he goes bye bye and oh no you've got a bit of shit all right get back down to that ball all right reverse out of it you're back to the ball you know thyself that statement is so appropriate for that situation it's becoming an anchor for it know thyself if anything it's like know thyself for everything anyway 
it's just a passing thought. Um, so join is very much emotional connection. Try and bring something up. Um, some of the examples I've had in the past is um, connecting to people who are tired. You know, they've had a great day. They're excited, but they just want to go back and go back to the hotel or wherever they want to go and have a rest. That's it. Um, I've got tired people. I've got excited people. I've I've uh, I've felt wonderment. Um, when they take pictures of these great cliffs and great amazing landscape pictures you can sense the wonderment and like how how awesome is this situation basically um, I felt them all but it's something that I would caution um, until you are better at cool downs at least that's that's a beginner's tip I'd have to say. All right, let's join.